It is truly amazing, riveting actually, how a series of common life events can have such dramatic effects on us years later. Is it simply chance that a chain of events just so happened to be strung together? Or is it something more? Could it be God arranging and redirecting our lives to create his own sovereign will? Yet in any situation, it is then our own personal choice in our own doing and how we respond. Allow me to share my story. During the time when the judges ruled, a famine came to Judah. And to escape the famine, Elimelech came to Moab. Elimelech brought his wife, Naomi, and their two sons, which one I would later call my husband. After Elimelech died, his sons did a noble job of caring for their mother, Naomi, my sister-in-law, and me as their wives. As wives of their sons, we developed a beautiful relationship with Naomi. For 10 years, we lived, loved, and grew together. After that time, though, tragedy struck, and our husbands died. Three women of the same family became three widows, and all that we had was each other. Naomi had heard that the Lord had come to the aid of her people, so she took us with her back to the land of Judah. I remember that journey well. The miles that stretched into more miles and the dust that clung to us like coats. I'll never forget when Naomi stopped. The look on her face was replaced with hope to despair. She turned to us and said, go back both of you to your mother's land. May the Lord show kindness to you as you have shown kindness to your husbands and to me. She kissed us and we all three wept. We tried to remain strong and we said, we will go back with you to your people. And even though Naomi persisted, we knew she could not remain alone. Someone would have to watch over her as someone had watched over us. And to the revelation came this reply.
if anything but death parts me from you. Those are the words that still echo in my mind because those are the words I did not have the courage to say. I am Orpa, the one who left Ruth and Naomi behind. I'll never forget looking back to Ruth and Naomi for the last time. I can't help but think that the love and devotion that Ruth has for Naomi really is the same love and devotion that God has for each and every one of us.